Okay. Uh, perfect square trinomials. Um, honestly, I'm a little torn about this one. Uh, they are important to watch out for, but it's not, it's not like a method of factoring in and of itself. There is a way to test for perfect square trinomials. Um, maybe I'll show you next day. But I, I like just thinking of perfect square trinomials as something to think about after you factor. Okay? Um, you know that you have a perfect square trinomial if after you've factored, both of those factors are the same. Okay, and I've, and I've bolted that so that you remember that. So after you're done factoring, this is kind of like an afterthought. If both of those factors are the same expression, then you have a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean with a few examples here. A, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. What kind of factoring do I have in this case? Normal, normal factoring. Okay. So two things that multiply to equal 9, add to equal 6. 3 and 3. three, and three. So I've done my factoring just like I usually do. Now I consider the possibility of a perfect square trinomial. And again, that possibility exists if both of those factors are the same, which they are in this case. So what we do from here is we can take that factored form and we can write it in a simpler form. Um, it's based on the idea of exponents. Like, you know how you could take 3 times 3 and just write it in a simpler form as 3 squared? You do x plus 3. Exactly, you do x plus 3 squared. Okay. So this is a perfect square trinomial. Reason being is because the square root whoops, sorry, the square root of this expression is x plus 3. Because I can multiply x plus 3 times itself, and I can get this, which is the same as this. Or maybe another way of saying it is, the square root of this entire thing is x plus 3. Can you see why? I know it looks a little bit intimidating to ask the square root of an entire trinomial, but its square root is just one of these factors based on the same definition for uh, the uh, a perfect square. You can square root a number if it has a form that you can write it in where it's the product of two identical factors. And that's exactly what you have here. Okay. B, we'll just do that one really quick. All right, B, I've got 2x squared minus 44x plus 242. What do I always check for first? GCF, I have that. So I pull out a 2, leaving me with x squared minus 22x plus uh, 141? 121. Thank you. What kind of factoring do I have left in those brackets? Normal factoring, good. So two factors that multiply to equal 121 add to equal negative 22. 11 and 11. What are their signs to get negative 22? They both have to be negative. And again, after I'm done my factoring, I ask myself, do I have a perfect square trinomial? Oh my goodness, you do. I do, right? So I just simplify it by writing it as 2 times x minus 11 squared. Again, just communicating that this is just multiplied by itself. Good? So like I said, perfect square trinomial factoring um, isn't really a method in and of itself. It's just something to consider after you're done factoring. C squared minus 12C minus 36. Should be a C, not an X. Okay, back to what we had before. We had C minus 6, C minus 6. And the problem that we found here was when we go negative 6 times negative 6, we get positive 36. Ah! Ah! So can I change these numbers to somehow make them equal negative 12? What are the possibilities do I have? I've got 1 and 36. I've got 2 and 18. I've got 4 and 9. I forgot 3 and 12. Is anything going to work here? Isn't the 
GCF too. There's no GCF. Can't factor anything at a C squared. Any ideas? It's close, but it's not factorable. Okay, so let's try this one. First thing I always check for, what is it? Should be obvious, three. What's left? B squared plus 8B plus 16. Do I have the ability to factor that inner trinomial? Do I have the, can I factor it? I can, what kind of factoring is it? Normal. Been getting lucky, no magic number yet. Whew. Uh -oh. Okay, so this would be b plus four and plus four. Agree? Yeah. Four and four is eight. Four times four is sixteen. Mm -hmm. Can I simplify this a little further? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What do I write? Three times b plus four. B plus four. Squared. And it's squared. Brackets. Okay. Make sure that exponent goes on the outside. Don't put it on the inside here, that means something different. Okay, that would mean just 4 is squared and that's it. We don't want that.